Kentucky's call a career criminal is at it again tonight. This time, 72 year old Vernon Shepard is accused of trying to break into a home in Royal Oak. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig found out quick action by the victim led to yet another arrest on a long list. Here at this kitchen window is where we're told the suspect tried to get in. What he probably didn't anticipate was that someone was home. What was he thinking? <laughs> <laughs> it's not often a criminal suspect is a senior citizen, but Royal Oak Police say 72 year old Vernon Lee Shepard was up to his old tricks again. It was Tuesday just before one o'clock in the afternoon here on the 700 block of Lockwood when Shepard allegedly went to the rear of a home and removed the screen out of a window. The homeowner heard a noise and saw a man trying to get in. She says she banged on the window and called 911. Hi, I, need, I just had someone break it, try to break into my house. Into where? My house. The individual that called us regarding the incident did a fantastic job of getting us a good description. As soon as I walked into the kitchen, we were face to face. Royal Oak Police responded quickly and they say it didn't take them long to find Vernon Shepard. He uh, ducked behind some buildings and uh, that didn't work out well for him. He has an extensive criminal history that dates back to the 1970s. In fact, state records show Shepard is actually still on parole. He was released from prison in 2016 after serving 11 years for first degree home invasion. And there's a good chance he's going right back behind bars because he's now charged with one count of attempted home invasion. And that's a felony. His bond has been set at $50,000 cash and neighbors wonder about their sense of peace. At times, a lot of people around here don't even lock their doors. They feel that safe. So maybe times are changing. And the homeowner says she warned her neighbors about what happened because she says this can happen anytime, anywhere. In Royal Oak, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.